as Danfoss, uh, I think let's say 15, 15 years ago, probably, yeah, we started um, launching pressure independent control valve. And that is, um, uh, yeah, it has basically evolved into a, a product that is widely accepted uh, and, and also uh, um, has been used widely. And right today, actually, I want to kind of talk to you about, you know, why we still think that this is one of the most crucial aspects of our, uh, of our offering is the pressure independent part. So first, if we start off basically on the um, um, on the on, on the basics, let's say then uh, we can say, okay, what does it mean to have a precise temperature control in the uh, building? Because we are all in HVAC, uh, and that is our end goal, right? Is to have the good indoor air quality. And I think basically everybody, even if you're not in HVAC, can understand what it means to have a, a good temperature control. I'm, I, basically means if you set the temperature to 22, that in the room it will be 22. Uh, so that's what everybody understands. However, I think that the people that are actually working in HVAC, they uh, really understand that there's a lot of things that uh, need to be need to happen actually before this precision actually happens so that you ask for 22, you get 22. And uh, this is really not simple, but it's also a very crucial part because first of all obviously it's a comfort issue right we want people in buildings to be cool or warm and um and 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 this is why the heat system exists why we do the heating the ventilation or the air conditioning so um so that is the let's say our raison d'etre actually for being in this business but we can also say that uh the good control um is also very important for the energy efficiency uh, so uh, so if you have the system good under control and you have everything controlled properly that means also you have a very efficient system because you can say that the the control basically ties all the components of the system together in a uh, in a good way well trinidad and tobago that's interesting never been there i want to visit one time um so uh so the energy efficiency is also for uh for a good part actually caused by a good control in the system and um and last and this one will probably get a bit more prominence in the near future the humidity control is also quite important which is also very much tied into uh into the uh, the precision because uh, we all know uh, we're still kind of in the middle actually of um, of a um, uh, of a pandemic or let's say at least in the tail end for some of us but for some of us very much in the middle I saw somebody from India it's uh, uh, still uh, quite serious there for example um, and you know, we all know that the spread of um, of this uh, uh, pathogen, so let's say viruses and, and uh, COVID viruses and those things, are very much uh, also tied to uh, to humidity control. So you already see discussions coming up, uh, and let's say about okay, so how should we control this? And we know that uh, if you maintain a certain level of of humidity, then you actually uh, have a, a, a a better control of the of the of the pathogen spread in the in the building so basically above 70 is really not good 